Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. I've been a little under the weather, but it's kind of hard to resist playing this game. It is so enjoyable. So I may not be as exciting as I try to be, though. I don't know if I'm really all that exciting anyway, but anyway. <laughs> Got everybody to bed last night and then kind of just stared at everything for a while and did some piddling around. Moved some of the music instruments up. They're going to get out of bed now and they're going to have to wander down here to do everything. Relaxation, eating, the whole works. So, got to think about how to make this transition a little more efficient. It's going to be pretty difficult to deal with half of what they need down here and half of what they need up here. I did expand the kitchen just a little bit more. Well, the, the walk in freezer was this size over here. I threw that in because this natural break over here was just going to be the end of a porch. I got to think, and that might be a great way to enter the back of the house. So went ahead and threw that door in, staircase, and I was playing with the idea of putting a shorter floor around here so they can step up onto that and then reach whatever's up here, pickling barrels or something, but it's probably more complicated than it's worth, so I just stuck another pathway in there for, for walking up here, walking through here, dealing with what's under the porch, which Cathra says cannot be a furnace. I was thinking of lining this up with furnaces or pickling barrels or you know, fermentation barrels, whatever they are. Um, production, <clears throat> furnace, yeah, will not go there. Will go here if you get the pathway to it, which means it would not have worked with a shorter floor anyway. Most likely it would have said that there was you know, no access. Okay, but can't go there. I can put these in here though. Uh, right there. So we can line this up with something like that. Though that right now is only taking food. Grain for antibiotics and bug meat for fuel and what have you. So only food is going into here. Vegetables for pickled vegetables. So we need to leave those here as long as we've got the food down here. Um, so the food is an obstacle. Um, I did throw in two more bedrooms and I'll get back to food in a moment. Let me pull this roof off. So this gives us one, two, three, four, the original four. I threw in two more at the end, decided to make use of this, this double wide hallway, which looks good, but it was kind of a waste of space. But two doors at the end gives us an, two more bedrooms without having to deal with more hallway to get to them. And steal this area here for a seventh bedroom. If we get an eighth person, well, maybe by then somebody will like somebody else and they can move in. There is an advantage to them having their own bedroom, though. Umar here got his own room for the night, and he's got a slept in spacious bedroom for plus 18 points. So there is an advantage to not bunking together like we've been doing, and we don't get any disturbed sleeps. I do see Cave Dweller. That has to do with the flooring. It's just raw floorboards kind of sets them off, and they don't care for that. So we've got carpeting we could put in which i would prefer to help keep them warm and speaking of warm that's something else to talk about we've got fireplaces going <clears throat> i queued that up just as they went to sleep uh temperature let me click out of here outside is 30 degrees right now inside in front of the fireplace it's 43 degrees step through this open doorway right here which seems like the heat would be pouring through and it's outdoor temperatures 30 degrees so those of you who don't live under Fahrenheit 32 is freezing so it's two degrees less than freezing right now um, so these archways do not allow heat to transfer through they may as well be doors so this archway needs to go away uh, is there a way to do that gotta think about that um, I'll think about it later. So the heat does not transfer through. I want to build one heat vent and verify that that works or does not work. If it works, we'll put a heat vent right here and transfer heat through. But I had put these two fireplaces together with the idea that this, this, and the hallway were all going to be one common space. So two fireplaces accumulatively should heat up all of this and have some to spill over into the bedrooms. That was the thought. But... 43, 40, 
37 and the outside wall 34. We lose a lot of heat in a very little span. Clan folk was having that problem too. I was playing that game <clears throat> and you went just two or three spaces away from the heat source and they were freezing again. So heat's got to be able to transfer better. I know that, that the, the wooden walls only have medium insulation, but they're still 12 inch thick walls, you know. The heat should be holding in there a little better than that. So if the vent does not work, does not transmit heat like it's supposed to, after we've taken these doorways down and, and either opened it up for good, we could do that, open it up for good. Yeah, we could have an, an opening here and an opening there. In fact, we can take this entire wall out right here, for that matter. Huh. And just have one big common space. Maybe we'll try that before I move these fireplaces. But we could also, down this hallway, put shelving down the whole length. So that um, crafting supplies or whatever we craft in these areas, as well as cooking, could all be part of that too. Yeah, that's possible. Um, but back to food, I would like to get us moved up here as soon as possible without having to wait to build all of this. So I built the kitchen, the, the walk-in freezer in this one chunk to begin with. Um, unfortunately, I can't just build like this part right here because the roof spans everything. So we've got to do this in slices. So what I got to thinking about is we could... Can I copy? Yeah, we could do something like that and build this whole section right here. In fact, let's do that as well and drop a door there. Then we could build all of this out over here. I guess we could throw a temporary wall in here and start chilling this side. Although chilling probably isn't a, an issue right now. Hmm, we could just put shelves out here and start loading up food. It's going to be cold for quite some time. You know, we got got the whole winter to go through. Oh, this is just the fall. Blue over there, that's when it really gets cold. So uh, we'd have frozen foods out here if we left the wall off. I kind of like that. Let's, let's see if I can pull that off. It's easier said than done. Let's grab from there. I got to rotate the screen so it fits within that that line so I go from there to there let's see if that did it I want to enable all of the construction there enable got to really think about these the symbols are not as intuitive as you would think so what else room wooden doors I guess that's it so put the roof on it looks like it's there. It looks like it's correct. Got all the walls in there, all the doors. Okay, I'm going to call that good then. So in that case, we'll need a door that gets us into this space here. You copy... Um, let's go one space in. That allows us to put something in this... Well, no, nothing would go in that corner because it'll block that doorway. I want to put shelving in to here like so although I had I had it planned for this layout it was gonna be shelf walkway shelf shelf walkway shelf shelf walkway hmm so that kind of disrupted my pattern this way um, shelf walkway shelf shelf walkway huh so where the door goes now I guess it really doesn't matter okay so you copy will just go there for now. So that is to be built as well. And though structurally that's not very sound, of course. Yeah. Well, this will be a solid wall. Anyway, we'll figure that out. Turn you guys on. So I brought up the musical instruments, brought up a research desk. Get them a place to eat up here. And maybe we'll get some... We're, I'm experimenting with berries. We've got so many berries, I want to let them eat them and see if they get any negatives from that. Uh, one of the shroom torches are up here. Edmund's waking up. What's his first? He's handling a fermentation barrel. I did ask him to get more fuel being made. That's right. Okay. Otherwise, what else is going on? Dig, did 
dog find his sleeping mat? He did. And I got a couple of name ideas for for our pooch. One of them was Dog, D-A-W-G. The other one was Otis. And I got to thinking with Otis, I like the name, but for me, Otis makes me think of Otis or Milo and Otis. You ever see that movie from oh, sometime in the 80s? Dog and a cat that went off on an adventure. We would need to find another dog named Milo to make that work. And Milo was actually a cat. So maybe Milo and Otis would be the name of our first set of um, Olfen. Yeah. Whereas this guy can be named Dog. All right, so we have Dog, who has 15 slop in there, which I did go in and reset the slop to be just insect meat and bush fruits. We'll save some of these more important ones for other, other tasks. And we have so much bush fruit now, I found that there are a couple of new recipes opened up. Fruits flambe at, opened up because of the alcohol, we, the moonshine. So there's another use besides letting them get drunk. So let's set up a handful of those. It's only going to work as long as we have moonshine, though. And moonshine takes a grain, and we're out of grain. So Rita needs to get in and do some more planting, see if it's possible to get another round of those going. But let's get... There you are. Since we only have four or five moonshine available to us, may as well move this up to the top anyway and get it used up and get it done. Tea as well. We can move you up and get you cooking. All these things... They're just temporary. They're, they're, they get them done and, and they move on. Veggie soups are important. Grain porridge. We're out of we're out of grain. Uh, pies, fruit cakes. Yeah. Risk of meltdown. Carter. Carter. <clears throat> I know earlier he had a negative. Oh, burnout. There it is. It's always do this and do that. I must relax. I must do something to distract myself from the hardships of life. He has been building like crazy. Kana wants to go eat fruit. Okay. And Rita wants to go drink. <laughs> Just looking to see what everyone's up to. Edmund's eating. Simon is petting dog. Umar's taking a walk. And moving the didgeridoo. So Edmund's already getting to work. So happy time is over. Now that they have such a long walk, let's put anything there. If they're only just getting here in time to do relaxation and then they get triggered to go to work, this will give them a, another hour to think about their lives a little bit and keep us out of meltdown territory. So, otherwise, Rita, I want you to get to planting as much as possible. I want Kana to get to making coats. And I want Simon to get to making leather. He gets a bonus from crafting, and we almost never use that. We got these things to get uh, all of the uh, whoa, all of the uh, the baking and and, and uh, smelting going on. I'm just watching this guy over here. Um, we probably have barrels that need to be emptied almost. Yeah, and then you got going as well. Good. I saw a plus caffeine on. Rita. Is that what I saw? Uh, enjoyed a beverage. Now that does to you, health-wise, a bonus to consciousness, movement, and manipulation. Brain. Caffeine. Mmm. I took some of that myself before I started recording this to make this a little more lively. Insufficient fuel and hint on obtaining sticks in case we don't know how to yet. Um... So Rita is training dog. Dog has eaten some of his food. Uh, Rita, when you're done, happiness-wise, where are you right now? You need some food. Actually, let's let dog do his own thing right now. Food-wise, what have we got? Meat soups. Let's get you to eat some meat soups. Then let's get you planting. I really need this going. And I want to see if it's still possible to get these replanted and get something out of them again. And then if there's time left, what? We've got a lot of hay. So we don't have to get back into here. 
Um, maybe this one. Let's plant that one out. So you're going to be planting today. Kana is transporting, and that's good, but when you're done transporting, let's get you, Kana. You're... None of you guys got anything done this morning because you, you took so long for you to get down here. All right, let's didgeridoo. Your rest is really hurting. Yeah, you're you're behind. See if you can if you have enough energy to make a coat. Simon, you are in decent shape. What are you, you're right here handling a furnace. When you're done, make me some more leather right there. And just in case you won't continue, but you finish and quit, let's get you to make one more round of leather over on this one. Okay, although the slop might be important. Hmm. We'll let that go for now. So that's you two. Edmund, what are you up to? You are moving a hand pan, so you're doing all the moving orders. Okay. Did you... I thought that would be a different color. Yeah, they're the one that's planning on being moved, but it's the same color down there. Be nice if this turned purple and that turned purple, so we'd know that, you know, that's the one that is not already been manipulated. So Kana is relaxing. Uh, Uamar discovered a mutual love for cooking with Rita. Ooh, what does that do for everyone? She likes him. He has a plus 15 toward her. Does anybody like Simon? <laughs> Rita, Simon likes Rita. Paulette, no one. And so Rita is, is okay with Umar and Carter. Okay. So Rita right now is the catch. <laughs> so I wonder, where should we put our... Oh, what did you call it? Where is it put nowadays? Wedding Arch. We were up here before the last series, but that's all kind of gone now. Where would that be as a temporary measure, just in case this happens? And what is with the blue slime on the ground? That's where these things naturally grow, but they don't exude it and make it happen here. Concrete rooms. So, although there is blue within it. Ah, so that must be the sweet syrup. And it runs out on the ground. And over here, it's portrayed differently. Okay. But that's a... It's a colorful landscape, but it's still not a great marriage backdrop. I guess just up here amongst the trees. Get this thing in place just in case it needs to be present in order to trigger them to be interested. I don't know. Let's go with this little grove over here. This is our pathway eventually, which these need to be taken out, and a lot of these trees are going to go away. Maybe we should plan an area so that we have a place where trees are not going to go away and not next to the lumber stockpile. Um, down in this little grove over here, should we cancel some tree cutting? Or should we... Boy, if this wasn't here, these little trees would be kind of nice. Um, I think this whole corner is going away. This is probably where our defensive plan is going to eventually turn into. Some kind of an approach to the area from this side. So that leaves maybe right down in here. That's actually kind of nice. Let's pop that in. See what it looks like. And maybe we'll get some other plantings and bushes and whatever in the area. Too bad it can't go diagonally. So there is actually a back and a front. So we'll make that the front. And there isn't a great place. Hmm. Yeah, this would have been a nice area if it could have remained. Let's just drop it in here for now, and let's see if any of this grows back. That's kind of where it was before. I'll pop you in there and destroy the ground around it. Hmm. We'll see if that comes back. What are you? You are a manure. Who deposited you? All right, we'll turn you on get rid of you. Uh, shelf life? Just about gone. Okay. Um, so... Hello. <laughs> what got me working on wedding arches? Um, Rita and the others. Okay. So dog is went back to eat. Down to five. And otherwise... Doesn't say what is up to. Okay. 
So, Kana is tailoring. Paulette is transporting. Transporting 20. What takes cotton? Where are you transporting to? Oh, you're going to go fill up the wedding arch. Just like that. Okay. Um, so I wanted Simon to make the leather. Whatever happened to you? Handling, handling, and seven more. So you're not going to do it until you have delivered Simon. What, what are you doing? You need all of that ore that Edmund mined a long time ago. Oh, man. <laughs> In order to go load up the the furnaces for alloy. Well, you're already this far out. It'd be foolish to send you back. Okay, you do all that. So, but we are over 42 degrees during the day. That's still pretty chilly. Their clothes, Paulette, I think, had the weakest clothing, right? You get cold at... Oh, you can handle all the way down to 21. You do have a coat. Carter did not have, so he can only get down to 35. Rita can only get down to 35. Oh, that's a shirt. That's a coat. That is a jacket. So he's got a real coat. She's got a jacket, which must be a step below. And she's got a t-shirt, whereas he's got a shirt. So I guess that evens them out somehow. Okay. So Carter or Rita probably gets the first coat. What was that thump? Obtaining, get rid of you guys. I need to get someone to get the sticks. Um, otherwise, 28 and 32, 28, 32. So first coat goes to Rita or Carter and probably Rita. She's going to spend a lot of time outside. I see we have a lot of silicone out here and we have a lot of skin bark out here. So that stuff did get harvested. I thought it was all a loss, but it seems to be uh, available still. Um, sticks, let's think about that. Edmund is constructing and Carter is constructing, and Edmund is risk of meltdown. Are there sticks anywhere out there that he could just pick up on his way? I have a feeling there aren't. Uh, there's hay out there. Okay. Well, Edmund, why don't you haul in the skin bark on your way to doing some kind of a although you could leisure just as easily right here and that would be even faster where is your stats it's mostly relaxation but you are close to a meltdown let's have you do that play music i need somebody to go cut some sticks uh paulette is getting something to eat umar is researching and he prefers to be inside he could be researching up here, but then that's a long walk to go get a meal. So we're not ready for that yet. Okay. We do have most of these up and running. Simon should be on his way back in. Right there. <clears throat> to get the last of these going. Be nice to see him load up both of them, but I don't know if he can do that. Or if he has to go drop it off and then bring it back. Um, going to sleep. Okay. Insufficient fuel, yeah. So, Umar, you are tired. It is your break to go and do whatever you want from 14 to 15, and we're in the 15, but unfortunately, by the time you get there, it's going to be all done. Huh. How about instead I just have you do a hauling job? Why don't you just haul in some of this hay? and rethink your life right there yeah we're going to be pretty inefficient for a while while we're living in two different buildings simon's handling a furnace so tailoring when she's done she's one who needed a rest her rest is pretty low so she's going to crash her before long so we'll just get one um coat out of her hopefully and then just let her do what she wants the rest of the day in fact maybe kana get you a meal and just send you to bed. That might not be a bad idea. Simon, can you get the last furnace done? So big... No. Do that one. Smelt ore. Get that going and then grab a meal and then get to making leather for tomorrow. 
So what meals do we have that we need to get rid of? Let's look at it that way. 92% on meat soups, 80% on, on uh, shelf life on the veggie soups. So, Simon, you picked your own. You already got that done? I guess you did. Okay. And you're getting meat from over here, which means an incomplete meal was stored over here instead of there. Yeah, that's always going to be uh, frustrating for me that other grabs so many categories. Um, so, Simon, when you're done, let's get you making that veggie effect. Did you, it says nothing is queued. I guess I canceled your queue. Okay. So in that case, make slop. And then make... No leather. Did it get made? Are you just that quick? Let's see. Leather. Right there? Uh, there. You made ten. I don't know. Let's try this one. Now we can do... No. There we can do it. We can do leather there. Oh, it's at the top over here. Okay. Okay, so Simon is transporting and dropping it off on a shelf. Okay, now will you get to... There you go. Okay, you're going to do that. Paula is transporting, which means she's filling up a stove or something with sticks. Which we are... Oh, with hay. You're transporting. Paula, how about getting you to go do some cutting while there's still some daytime left? We need some sticks. So come on over here and cut down uh, 10 of these bushes, please. There's still a lot of bushes out here, so I guess there's no need to plant anymore just to make it happen. Do we plant bushes around this? And eh, let's wait and see what grows back next spring. See if it's possible. And concrete rooms. We could use furnaces to bake cement out of lime-rich stone slabs and use it to build concrete buildings. Okay. And show me walls. So the... No, it doesn't show it yet here. I was going to say the nanotubes are, but they're not. So uh, good thermal insulation for concrete. Bricks was also good thermal insulation. And essentially they're both made in the furnace. Which is kind of odd. I guess we're not really making concrete as much as we're making concrete blocks. Maybe that's a way to look at it. So it's just a matter of whether you've got st lots of stone available or lots of hay available. So really the jump up is carbon nanotubes. Not concrete. Uh, hit points. Uh, not what I wanted. <laughs> Housing, wall, hit points, 200. Concrete, 300. Okay, so concrete has this advantage of being a defensive structure. Okay. Um, research, where are we at? We're working on veggie armor. Okay. Um, carbon nanotubes are over here. It doesn't give me any stats on it. In order to get those, we've got to go and uh, attack our, our local bug nest. Uh, that noise. Just fuel. Oh, we're, we're eliminating the, the deficit there. That's why it's making noise. Okay. Uh, you can go away. Flamethrowers did make it in, as well as making fats from bugs and making oils from grain and there might be other things that come up with that eventually just like the uh, these guys originally only showed you a couple things and then more became available as we discovered more things uh, dog is out here so dog does return to his bed without being led that is good to know uh, Edmund is cutting can I get you to cut over here. There we go. Cut these. Paulette, how are you doing? You've been out here for a while. You, Rita's harvesting. You are actually in pretty good shape. We have a new coat. Great. Rita, you are harvesting the last of the plants that didn't really need to be harvested. Unless I can harvest more while, since you've already made the trip. Any of these available? They are. Yep, I'll let you finish the trip since you're already out here. Um, Kana is... Looks like she's eating, and she's got to get a rest. So let's send you to bed afterward. Kana, your bed is here? Kana, yeah. So when you're done, why don't you head to bed? Don't wait till 2300. 
And I got that right? Yeah, you're still leading. Okay, Rita is out there. So get these two, make sure you haul them in. And we're, I'm going to search this map and get rid of all the last little, you know, random harvest. No, no, no. That's why I wanted to be out here. So harvest these and then haul them in. <laughs> yeah, you wanted to get something to eat real quick. It probably, yeah, it's do whatever you want time. But if you made the trip all the way out here, may as well make it happen. <clears throat> so picking up two, ten, and hopefully five more. Was there nothing that landed here? That's weird. Simon reached crafting three CPU core research. But what happened to my five that were down here? She cut these two and got ten, but these five vanished because she wanted to get a meal. I think I got robbed. I don't know. Um, let's do this. Simon hit crafting three. Good, good. And CPU core research opportunity. Oh, I have read how CPU, core, CPU cores are produced. I think that it should be possible to research them without a sample. Thank you. But why didn't you remember this earlier? <laughs> um, where are you right now? You are in bed. Um, I can... Ah. You made it upstairs, up top here. Add CPU cores to this, and that gives us what? CPU core assembly takes a day and a half to do it. Uh, crafting microprocessors from silicon and refined metal alloys is a basic survival skill. In the future, we just need to remember this. Remember the proper blueprint. All right, we'll toss that in. You guys see anything else in here that you feel is more essential? You know, by the ones that are lit up. Let me know. But that's the list right now. Um, going to sleep, Rita. You needed a meal. You did. Can you wait till tomorrow? Um, your happiness is fully maxed out. So reach physical one. Ah, she can carry more now. And because you carried in, Paulette, there you are, these branches. Transporting ten? Really? Transporting ten when there's eighty. Okay, so Edmund, I don't trust that you're not going to either, so you're going to haul sticks afterward. <clears throat> One more to do? No, nope. you're all considered done. Great. You bring all the rest of those in. And this one we will unqueue for a while. Alright, that was one day? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Never know. Some of these days feel so long I have to ask myself, have I been through two sunrises already or not? All right, so you guys are all heading to bed. I've, so I've got three per room, and that'll just have to do for a while. All this is queued up and available. Nothing got done. Interesting. So roofs? No. So yeah, it is available. Is it because nobody went cutting? Yeah, we've only got six wood. Okay. So I must have had them all busy doing other things. Bricks, we're at 49 now. So, just weighing whether or not we brick in this or we use the carbon nanotubes. Perhaps we build a brick one and see if by the time winter ends, we haven't raided the nests and got that technology researched. And then before we get into next summer, carbon nanotube the room. That's interesting. And if I don't make that wall right there carbon nanotube, maybe some of the cold will bleed into the building. Huh. But I would say it's time to take... Oh, it's time to test. All right. So we have outdoors 32 degrees. We have in front of this fireplace 79 degrees. Ooh, that's nice and comfy. In the next room right there, 57 57 in the bedrooms 58 in this bedroom 47 maybe it just needed a whole day for the heat to transfer through the building maybe I jumped to conclusions hmm 
Okay. <clears throat> but still, 78 to 57. So it's not transferring through here. So that archway is not helping. So I'm thinking we should make this all one room and possibly that one room. Then the whole thing could potentially be around 80 in here and down the whole hallway. So we are in front of this guy, 78. We do drop off as we go. But if we can get this big common space warm, then maybe these vents will work. Let's find out. Let's vent these rooms here. So that's right there. Yeah, we'll do there. And we won't need to vent into here because that's all going to become a room. Okay. So just those two vents for now. <clears throat> now to take these walls out. How do I do that? So four wooden walls. Kind of hard to choose just what you want. Oh, can I do it that way? I can. You two. And can I probably... There, I can do that. Deconstruct those. And... I can't get the wall that they're mounted to. Okay. And did that really deconstruct? Deconstruct. Okay. So we'll take those out. <clears throat> and we'll take this out. And we'll see what that does heat-wise to the place. Sunrise is happening. Carter is getting blueberries. I did turn that on for all of them to use up some of these blueberries. I wanted to watch one of them eat one to see if it gives them a negative. And if I remember, Icona is still set to eat pumpkins or butter melons, they're called, to see if that gives her a negative because she's a vegetarian. So there's a couple of experiments. We'll see what that does to Carter. Pop that in right here. So it's cold. He needs a jacket. He's hungry, he's unrelaxed, and he got his sleep disturbed. Okay. But there are many fun things to do. We've had a good variety now. He slept in a comfy bed and enjoyed a short story. What just went away? I don't know. Weren't there three and three? Anyway, I want to see what happens here. We have added and no. Slept in, many fun somewhat fed. Okay. Then we added well fed. So as he eats more, he increases to being stuffed. And then what do we add? When that goes away, we added eight at a table and enough food variety. Okay. He didn't get his plus 12 or 18 or 6, depending on the kind of food. But he got enough other bonuses. I sent him to there. And then if he got his relaxation up, which he is playing a didgeridoo, then he will be even further away from a, a meltdown. Dog came out here all on his own. Okay, but still he has only a, a short distance he uh, is allowed to travel. Good and bad, I guess. Though it would be nice if they had the ability to roam. But at least he's not just stuck in his sleep spot all day. Unless they come out to play with him. Alright, a lot of people getting blueberries. Interesting is because the blueberries are the closest food to their beds. Now, Kana is going to get a veggie meal. Okay, so it's all just kind of random, huh? You went all the way around the block. Oh, you already had it in your hand. Okay, but you're all grabbing blueberries. Hmm... Maybe that's what goes on this shelf, then. Blueberries, food, relaxation, research. Some of them may just stay right here. Though they may not get enough food variety that way. <clears throat> we'll see if they... Maybe the ones that went for a meal instead of blueberries because they had blueberries last time. Hmm. So Paulette is eating here because there aren't enough seats. Ah. Uh, okay. There we... Yeah, we're becoming a two-table family now. And they all get up at the same time. That's interesting. Should we vary them? Everyone in this bedroom goes to bed an hour earlier and gets up an hour earlier and shifts through the tables. Huh. I don't know. 
Simon is melting down or close to it. Simon is eating, so that should... Unfortunately, your eating stuff is not going to give you any food bonuses. Hmm. Okay, well, you should be getting a few bonuses here soon. And you will then handle the cook stove. No, come on over and get excited about life again. Kana is transporting other. Yeah. Other needs to go over here. And there is a free space. Um, other. What am I... Oh, raw food's other. Where's other, other? Other, other. <laughs> that goes there. So, kind of let's break, drop it, and go and pick it all up. And... Okay. And... No tea, Kana. What happens if you... Okay, and you, that turned you around automatically. Okay. <clears throat> so now the tea will be over here. Eventually it'll be all up top, but that works. Paulette is cooking on this stove because this stove is waiting for tea. Okay. Kana is transporting fuel. Oh, she's emptying one of these. Okay. But Kana, I do need you to be making a second coat. Rita's training dog, which I interrupted her yesterday, so I'll let her finish that. You are transporting and filling up. Ah, keeping the generator running. Good. We're 14 hours till meltdown. Not that we're doing anything with it. Yeah. We do want to make a um, circuit board. Well, electronics. Hmm. Don't know when we're going to get to that. <clears throat> if we turn this off, what else is there to run? Is the refrigerator? Curious. This. Hmm. Can I test it once she fuels it up? Oh, she's already fueled it. Okay. If we were to turn this off, would that then last for twice that amount? This uses 10. This uses, it's here somewhere, eight. Okay. <clears throat> I'm looking for a Kana. There you are. So you're transporting, and I want to interrupt you here. Can you turn this off? What happens here when you do that? Okay, switch that off. Two days and 13 hours. So it doesn't matter whether or not we're using only a little bit of the 50 or not. Okay, so may as well just leave that on then. So Kana's loading all these up. And while that's nice, let's have you immediately get into Kana. Kana, there we go. Let's get you making a coat. <clears throat> Transporting, tailoring, and one more. Simon, you're now handling the furnace. I think we'll pause on the furnace for a while. Let's keep the uh, the sewing going on. Slopwise, where are we at for the dog? We have none. Was some made yesterday? And if so, where is that stored? I honestly don't know. Slop is food? Other? Slop. So food goes over here. Okay. So food other that lands over here if I were to find it it would be not there not there not there so apparently we have none slop is down there at zero okay so let's get that made Simon how are you doing I got you all souped up for the day let's get you making slop you already have a bunch of handling jobs so let's cancel all those and get that done right now make slop <clears throat> make another slop make a veggie leather and make another veggie leather okay that'll keep you busy for a while Paulette can do all the transporting as well as doing the uh, uh, the cooking Rita you are harvesting something a long way away oh we queued these up a long time ago so what else is out here already queued up besides ore? 
You guys are ore. You guys are ore. Okay. You are ore as well. So that's just the silicone. And in case the winter destroys them, I'd say that's probably a good idea. We Do we have any chance of getting more pumpkins this season? There are some out there that could be harvested that are ready to go now. I don't know when the fall shuts down planting, shuts down harvesting. <clears throat> we did see the berries go away. They're all red now. Pumpkins apparently are a little further along, which pumpkins are. They're there until you know, Halloween. So she is out in this area. We could have her harvest those and then harvest these and then harvest the other and not necessarily bring them all in yet. We could do that, just get the harvesting done. They'll sit for quite a while on the ground without rotting. So orders harvest this whole area and harvest this whole area. Harvest. Okay, Rita, when you're done, harvest three, harvest six, and that's all, okay, and harvest five, okay, so that's all the harvesting done out there, I don't think there's anything else that's waiting and hiding, what are you guys, you guys are ore, okay, and this guy is set up for research, so we can research something different, which is too far away, so, oh, you set for cut, oh, we never get out there to finish that, okay, so never mind, that was a cut order. We can ignore that. We have one of these right here if we want to research it. Where are we? Yeah. All right. So with that going, let's just let this thing run for a while. Carter's constructing a punching pole. And that could probably stay down here. In fact, if that stays down here, then let's move the didgeridoo up there. So we'll have all of our music in one place. Yeah. Move you right there. Okay, so Carter... Construction-wise, we need wood. So we're not getting anything else now, done now until the wood is in. Rita's busy. Simon is busy. Is he still busy? He's still busy. Good. But you've already moved over to the last job? You aren't that fast. You're not that good at it. How come all these other orders are gone? I don't get that. Did he make 40 slop? He made 20, and he canceled all the rest and moved on to this one. Really? Okay, then I guess we, I guess each subsequent one cancels the, no, because Veggie was the last one. So it grabs the very first one and that is it. Oh, that's a little frustrating. All right, then you're going to do that after you do the other one. And then I would love to tell you to go and do some more slop, but I can't. But I did click the power pole. That reminded me of something. All right, you guys keep working. I think it's time to get power up into this area. I would like to grab that guy. And this guy. So I guess up this back wall here. Ed, Edmund reached physical because you've been cutting trees. Good. So power up the back side and then jump in wherever I need to. So let's make that happen. And where is that exactly? I guess it's this guy. Uh, producers and consumers. Select all power consumers on this grid. Producers on this grid. Okay, and we've got switches we're going to find later that allow us to do things with those circuits, kind of automate them a bit. Let's copy you and go as far away as I can, which is there. Got to take that tree out to do that, huh? Yeah, that's actually kind of nice. Our own power company lets the trees stay until everything lights on fire and, <laughs> and we get a forest fire. Um... That tree's coming out, and that tree's coming out. Hmm. It's probably coming out no matter what. Yeah, this entire run, the trees have to leave. Well, that's unfortunate. Maybe we'll plant new trees along this edge over here. Um, like so. Sure. Is there a problem with getting too close to the house? You're going to be there, and you quit there. So you're there. Now that... It's not, not a problem touching the house. Where are my wires? There they are. And wind blowing out there. A little bit of rumbling. We got ourselves a 
thunderstorm coming in. Risk of meltdown, Edmund. I can't see over here, so how do I zoom in on this? Where are the wires at? I cannot see them. Too many trees. They got to be cut down anyway. How far can I go? I can get to there, but what is a straight line? Well, oh, that's that's tough. Okay, well, we'll call that good for now. They're going to take these trees down in order to cut or put those poles in, and that should open up my view for later. But that uh, lightning rod will now be on the grid once this is all built. How come I only think about building power poles when we have a thunderstorm going in? Clearing construction. Yeah, we're cutting trees down in a thunderstorm. Yeah, that's 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 smart. Paula is transporting because we got all this stuff to get in. And oh, somebody. Hello. I'm on slow speed too. It'd be nice if that kind of feathered in a little bit. Need some sprinkles to happen first. No bug attack this day. Hmm. Well, that's good. And we're at 1,700 hours, so I'll try not to hit pause anymore, and we'll just let this happen. Simon is handling the furnaces that he wanted to do before. Did that give us enough? Kana's already grabbed 40 leather. We have left 20 more. So, a veggie leather. <clears throat> so, we will, next episode, get Simon to make 20 more, and that gives us our third coat. But, but Kana should be done with another coat, which puts a coat on Carter. Then we'll start working on the rest of them. Then we'll get new pants for everyone and uh, pretty much get ourselves outfitted. Uh, dog's going to bed. No, he's going to eat. Yeah, he's munching away. 20. Oh, it's like kibble. Slop sounded bad, but the graphic looks like uh, dog food. Okay. There's 19, so you are eating. Good. Food. Shelf life, 80, 72. We're doing okay there. Simon is getting all these guys lit. And he's getting the stoves relit and getting all the stuffs in there. Okay. Temperature wise, oh, I went against what I said. I paused. Temperature, oh, and these walls are what's left when you take the, uh, the doorway down. Okay. So let's take you and you out, deconstruct. And temperature wise now, we've got 83 indoors. And the other side of the wall is 80, so almost the same. It's As long as the doorway is not there, it's all considered one room. But through a wide open doorway, nah, we can't handle it. Okay, yeah, the uh, temperature is a little janky in this game. But that blocked us from our room. I guess we're going through that door now. Okay, so you need to go away, uh, deconstruct, and you need to go away. Uh, try that again right there. And Carter constructing a power pole. When you're done with that, go ahead and deconstruct these four walls so we can see that done tonight. You are doing it from a long distance. Ah, I get it. I haven't seen a lot of lightning in this storm. It's it's hitting. I got my speakers turned way down. It may be quite loud. I don't realize it. Yeah, ooh, okay. Good show. But you get those torn down, I'll wait till the red disappears over there. And then we'll go check that out and kind of figure out long range plans as far as uh, temperatures go. Uh, risk of meltdown is also with those walls down, we could, we have a, we have more options available to us for placing furniture. Waiting for a lightning strike. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, let's move in over here. So we could, in that case, put another table right there. Though we could... Now, because I want room for things like... Hmm, we could do that. That gives us one, two, three more spaces. I want room for... for what are these? Leisure chairs? What are these chairs called? Furniture. Armchairs. I want room for armchairs. I want room for other research and whatnot. Uh, crafting tables. Uh, we'll get shelves down the hallway for supplies for the crafting. So this door, in that sense, doesn't really need to be here either. Which opens us up even more. So the hallway and all of this is one big common space. With these guys going into the bedrooms. 
we're at 51 degrees indoors here and there we're 39 but that's the new one we're 51 in here and 39 in there so we're not transferring a lot of temperature hmm and it's gotten a lot colder out well 60 out indoors 60 and outdoors 39 so we've lost a lot of temperature in here because it's gotten so much colder outside but still that is still losing temperature really fast they're really uh, subtracting a lot of temperature for these medium insulation values hmm almost too much my uh, mom lives in a log cabin kind of like that same kind of construction and she's able to keep it quite warm in there so they do hold heat a lot better than that anyway waiting for this storm to end see if we get oh transporting 149 watermel uh, watermelons <laughs> I must be tired pumpkins buttermelons there we go Edmund is sitting he got more of the power grid up and running Carter's eating I think we're kind of calming down for the day um, what we got going on here we're making fuel we're making pickled vegetables and we're making more fuel okay otherwise did we get the coat done we did Rita did you get your coat um, let's see here that one you got a new coat you can now handle down to 28 uh, Carter is eating can you pick up a and equip a coat after that that'll get you down to 28 degrees and that mission is accomplished just about to finish what for research veggie armor and then we're moving into oils and fats okay um, equipping good taking a walk out in the rain getting a negative Rita's going to sleep Kana's eating pumpkin that's what I've been waiting to see you are eating what gave everybody else a negative six. Drowsy, unrelaxed. You got a negative six for eating raw food. Now we know. The vegetarian cannot eat vegetables. <laughs> well, okay. Who would want to eat raw pumpkin anyway? I get it. Um, where is that? There. Vegetables. No to those. Though pickled vegetables is considered a raw vegetable. We'll see how that works. The raw berries was not a problem. So maybe pickled vegetables will not be either. Otherwise, envied Edmund for improving their skills. Simon is handling a furnace and going to bed. Paulette is deciding to cook one more time, 10 o'clock at night. And the rain has stopped, but the winds have not. I'm looking to see if there's one more big there was a thunder a second ago sound like it was behind me so the final thunder crash didn't land within our view okay um we done for the day we kind of are oh simon is handling a fireplace before he goes to bed that's a good thing to see yeah load up the fire before you go to bed hopefully that is a priority that's built into the game to kind of make sure you're transporting wood oh good plan walk out and oh the walls that dropped and you're putting that where power pole looks like you are or you're gonna walk around back where are you going now oh, you're going all the way around cave dweller just saw popped up that reminded me how much uh cloth we have quite a bit of cloth let's yeah, uh, housing, flooring, soft carpet takes two. Let's carpet these bedrooms. All right, there's a task for next time. Get some carpeting in there so they won't, uh, won't have the cave dweller debuff always hitting. Otherwise, Edmund has decided to get a little more construction done before he went to bed. Otherwise, everybody else looks like they are on their way. Dogs asleep and... I think it's time for me too. So thanks for watching folks. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.